Do you have a bottle of hydrogen peroxide in your medicine cabinet? Or in your home somewhere? Did you know that there was a story inside that bottle? It is the story of Louis Jacques Thenard. Hydrogen peroxide is here today because of this man that lived a long time ago. He was born in the little village of Le Loutier in the northern part of France. To this very day, there stands a small cottage in that village where a poor peasant named Cecil and his wife Etienne lived in 1777, over 200 years ago. They had seven children and struggled to live by simple means. One of their sons was named Louis Jacques Thenard. Poor Louis. He was destined to grow up poor. But he was smart and he loved science. His village teachers noticed his intelligence and his hunger to learn. And at the age of 11, his teacher sent him to Sens a nearby city to attend a college of education. Sens was not far from Le Loupetier Thénard, so he could walk there. The word college comes from the old Latin word collegium, which means association or together. So the college at that time was a place where learned people associated to talk about educational subjects. While in Sens, Lewis walked the big city and he discovered a pharmacy for the first time, a place where medicine was made and sold. He would go into the pharmacy and ask them questions about medicine and where they came from. His curiosity got the best of him. He wanted to become a pharmacist. But he'd have to go to the big city of Paris to learn to be a pharmacist and he was just a poor peasant boy. One day he heard about the public courses that two chemists gave in Paris, Vauclin and Fulcroy. So Louis and two of his friends went off to Paris to listen to Vauclin and Fulcroy. Louis Nicolas Vauclin was a French pharmacist, chemist, and professor at the College of France. Young Louis wanted to stay in Paris and study under this professor. So he got a job in the professor's household as a bottle washer and a scully boy while he attended his lectures. He lived in a small room adjoining the kitchen in which dishwashing and other kitchen chores were done. He did so well at college that Volklin made him assistant for his teaching classes. He studied everything Volklin did and was a fast learner. Eventually, young Lewis became the official demonstrator for the university. While at the university, Lewis also studied under Antoine Francois Fulcroy, another famous pharmacist and chemist of the time in place. Volkroy too recognized his ambitions and talents and together Volkroy and Volkelin requested that Lewis become a teacher. Thenard worked and studied hard and at the age of 31 this poor peasant boy had grown up and was appointed professor of chemistry at the College of France in Paris. Louis Jacques Thenard grew in knowledge and recognition, eventually becoming the Dean of the College of France. His dream of becoming a pharmacist had more than come true. One of the things he discovered in his laboratory was a new chemical called hydrogen peroxide, a chemical that never existed before. Louis Jacques Thenard's greatest single discovery was that of hydrogen peroxide. 
Hydrogen peroxide was used as an antiseptic to kill germs by millions to live healthier lives to this day. Of course, hydrogen peroxide has many other uses, including hair lightener for beauty salons. But above all things, Thenard was a teacher. He himself said, the professor, the assistant, the laboratory, everything must be sacrificed to the students. He wrote one of the first textbooks in chemistry and dedicated his life to pass this knowledge on to hundreds of students, contributing to the body of knowledge in chemistry as we know it today.